The fourth killer lies in Mars's soil. It's filled with perchlorates, rocket fuel on Earth, poison on Mars. One million times more toxic than Earth. Even plants couldn't survive. No nitrogen, no DNA fuel. Fifth, Mars has no living cycles, no water cycle, no carbon cycle. It's like a car with no engine, no fuel, no wheels. Even launch windows betray us. Every 26 months only, miss one chance. Wait two more years. And the journey? Six to nine months of radiation-filled space. Half the crew may never make it. Even if you land, survival is the real nightmare. One crew of six needs two tons of oxygen and tens of tons of water. But NASA's tech made only 122 grams in two years. Food? Imagine farming inside a freezer. Dust storms can choke even sunlight itself. No resupply for two years. No replacement if a filter breaks. This isn't colonization. This is remote survival. Terraforming? The dream collapses under math. Even nukes at the poles can't create an atmosphere. Without a magnetic shield, solar wind will strip it away again. To restart Mars's core would need the power of the sun itself. So what does this mean? Humans are Earth's children, not wanderers. Our lungs, bones, hearts, all designed for Earth. Mars teaches us habitable planets are rare and Earth is priceless. So maybe the point is not to escape Earth, but to protect the only true home we'll ever have.